Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to go over all the details for the new global campaign that just began. And honestly, the timing couldn't be better because things have been really dead on global for a while now. But then again, what else is new? So without further ado, let's jump into the news and see what's going on. Now I haven't touched this uh, new section at all yet, so if there's anything crazy in there or anything, you know, any surprises that we didn't know about from before, then we'll be pretty much finding out about it at the same time, which would be pretty exciting, but honestly, I don't expect anything new, so I guess we'll see. So this campaign is called Filled with Energy Max Power Reinforcement Campaign, and it says, new SSR Goku who can be token awakened into an LR will show up in the Legendary Summon. So we already knew about this. It's of course the Int LR Super Saiyan God Goku. And I actually did a showcase on the JP side in preparation for his release on Global. So if you guys are interested in just seeing like what, what kind of damage he can do or what he's all about, then definitely go check out that video. Moving on, it says, don't miss out on his Legendary Power, which rivals that of a God. So, I mean, he is good. He is good. I wouldn't say, you know, it's godly as far as the card goes. Of course, it is Super Saiyan God Goku, but um, I wouldn't rank him in like my top 5 or even top 10 LRs really. But of course, go check out the video and decide for yourself, right? Um, in addition to luxurious login bonuses, a new Extreme Z battle. Extreme Z battle. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Actually, I'm pretty sure we already... Wait. A new Extreme Z battle. Yeah, hold on. I'm getting a little excited. I don't want to hype myself like too much though, just in case it's not what I think it is. But we'll see. Okay, so new Extreme Z battle, and also the 16th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash will be also available during the event period. On top of that, the Baba Shop for Max Power Reinforcement Campaign will also be available. Obtain the new Treasure Item Growth Badge from the Login Bonus and the Missions, and use them to exchange for awesome rewards at Baba Shop. Come. Join the events and enjoy the Okan battle. Okay, pretty cool. I am very, very intrigued by this new Extreme Z battle. It could just be something from JP, but I'm also thinking it might be possibly a global first thing. We'll see, all right, we'll see. Okay, so first things first, we have a login bonus, standard stuff, some missions for stones, pretty cool. Dragonstone sale, um, 32 stones for 50% off two times, that's pretty good. And also 91 stones for 20%, and then also super discount, 77 stones, ones only. That usually is a pretty solid deal, so uh, if you guys are pay to play players and you know, you're willing to spend a, you know, a bit of money on this game, that would definitely be a good pickup, and of course, the 32 stone packs are always a good deal. Um, oh, heart pounding uh, login bonus. This thing's back. You know, one to seven stones a day. I usually get the one, but I've seen people get seven, so all depends on your luck. But that's a, that's always a good thing. Um, also, the Baba Shop thing, of course. For I don't actually, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm assuming you know you can get some like highs and stuff, which would be nice. And also, the Legendary Summon banner with the Goku. We already saw the banner on JP, and it wasn't that good. But if you guys want the Goku, then, you know, of course, he has boosted rates. Well, not really boosted, but, like, higher than unfeatured rates, right? I think it's about, like, 0.4, 0.5%. Still not the greatest, but uh, I'm probably just going to summon the banner because there's not really much to summon on, or there hasn't been much to summon on for a while, and I kind of just want to summon for something, so... I will be summoning for this Goku, but for the most part, I think you're okay to skip it, like for most players at least. Um, of course, oh, the int type banner is also back. So the reason this one's back is because the Scatter Vegeta here and also the Kid Gohan are both getting the Dokkan Awakenings. Extremely, extremely good Dokkan Awakenings, by the way. And um, it's also a good banner for, you know, pulling those int type LRs. So if you're missing the trio or you want Bojack or int Gohan, and it might not be a bad idea to invest some stones. And also, of course, these uh, supports are really good. So if you guys don't have them, then maybe it's worth your stones. But I, I, I wouldn't, you know, spend too many stones on this banner for sure. And also, of course, this banner here. Both of them are like 50 to 100 stones and call it a day kind of thing. But the ultimate decision is up to you. That's just my recommendation. We also have an Elder Kai banner. That's cool. Uh, the Beerus events available throughout the entire celebration because 
I believe the STR Beerus Dokkan Awakening, or not Dokkan Awakening, the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Beerus is getting added to the game. So that's why this is here. We also have the return of a few story events, um, the final showdown with Frieza, Fierce Battle for Planet Namek, and also the Battle of God story event. And also, okay, the Super Elite event is available every day. Interesting. Um, this character can be Extreme Z Awakened, so I was right, the STR Beerus is getting his EZA, and it's a pretty nice upgrade. He actually becomes a pretty solid support unit for the, what was it, Worthy Rivals category, I believe, the Fizz Piccolo category, and uh, he also gets some defense. So a big improvement for him. We also have the Virtual Clash. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. I w oh, dude. <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping, but I was like, yo, maybe it's just Omega Shenron, right? Or like, I don't know what else we're missing from JP, but maybe it's like something else that we already knew about, so it's like not that hype. But nah, <laughs> it was exactly what I was hoping for. It was exactly what I wanted. It is the Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening, the global first Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening. It's finally coming, guys, dropping on the 24th in... Uh, eight days from now, and oh, dude, this is this is like the best Valentine's Day present, I guess. I don't know what it, it's not really a holiday right now, but it's just a really nice present from Bandai because I was I was ready, I was prepared to wait up to like six months for this thing to drop, and we learned about it what at the end of uh, December, right? So it's been about two months, actually less than two months, and it's coming. It's coming. That That's amazing, man. Yo, good job, Bandai. I appreciate that. Two months and it's dropping. So we're finally getting, well, I say finally as if it's been like a really long time. It hasn't been that long, but we, we are getting the Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, of course, Time Traveler's category banner. Who cares? We don't really care about this banner either. But I am very interested to find out what this guy can do after his EZA. I don't think we have any details yet, but uh, of course, once details come out, as soon as they come out, I will be keeping you guys informed in an upcoming video. Uh, that's dope. Okay, of course we have the PLF Trove Packs for the Extreme Z tickets. And some other events coming back like the Fruit of Tree of Might, the uh, Hero of Justice Saiyan Man event, and also the Otherworld event. Of course, um, the Fizz Vegito Blue um, Dokkan event will be available. And also the Cell Games event. And uh, it looks like the Extreme Z battle for Perfect Cell is coming back too. I'm not really sure why exactly that is. Like, is there like a new Cell getting, there's no new Cell getting AZ8, right? So I'm not really sure what that's about, but I guess they just wanted to bring it back or maybe there's something I'm missing here. I don't really know, but I don't really care right now. The only thing I, I'm, I'm thinking about is what Fizz Vegito Blue is gonna do. And I, I, I can't really say at the moment, I'm sure he's gonna get bigger boosts. I'm sure um, they might make him like a 120% super type leader, which would be, actually be amazing. Like same leader skill as the AGL Goku. Um, of course, still having counters. Maybe they'll increase his um, damage reduction for normal attacks up to like, I don't know, what what's something reasonable, like 50%? I think it's only 30% at the moment, right? I think it's only 30%. I could be wrong, but it, I'm sure they'll increase the damage reduction. Um, he's still gonna be insane just because of the counters. Now, don't get too too excited. You don't get too hyped because we know what happened with the AGL Super Vegito, right? People were just expecting way too much. They were expecting him to be this the best unit in the game after his EZA, and he didn't end up being that. And people were disappointed, even though he ended up being really good. So, don't get too hyped. But I'm hyped. Okay, I can't help it. Like, <laughs> that's amazing, man. It's actually dropping in just over a week, guys. Get ready. Um, and that, that's pretty much all there is. So uh, as far as the missions go, uh, I still want to take a quick look at how many stones we're getting. Okay, so 22 stones. Nothing crazy, but it is free stones. And uh, as far as these login bonus goes, these login bonus, this login bonus, it's one stone a day. So uh, yeah, nothing too special there either. And also, what is this growth badge thing? Okay, so... Okay, so we get up to 14,370 growth badges. And uh, you get them through missions and logins, I think. Right, logins and missions. And you can get uh, potential orbs. Oh, interesting. Potential orbs and also Elder Kai's. So definitely want to get all of those badges if you can. 
and also how heart pounding bonus here we already know what this is all about but if you don't let's say you're you're super new you only started playing a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago then uh, essentially it's like an rng based thing where every time you log in uh, hercule will pop up there's gonna be an animation that plays and you can get either one stone and some stuff or three stones and some stuff or if you get really lucky you can get seven stones so it's just literally just rng um but yeah it's a nice bonus on top of the regular login and let's take a quick look at the Baba Shop just to confirm exactly what's in there. Okay, so it's this one right here. And we can get up to six Elder Kai's. We can get keys as well. And also training items, some reversal medals, training locations, support items. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And some potential orbs. So definitely want to buy all of those potential orbs um, first. I mean, I would go for Kai's first and then potential orbs. And then the rest is like whatever you want, it's up to you, but that's what I would prioritize first. I don't know if we get enough to actually buy everything from the shop, but if it's not, like if we can't get everything, then definitely get as many orbs as you can first, and then the Kai's, and then yeah, the rest is, is whatever. Okay, so that is the video guys, that is the new campaign. Ooh, okay, so let's see what we get. Let's see, can we get seven stones on camera here? We have nobody pop it in, just Hercule Solo. So I'm expecting one stone. Yeah, there we go. Okay, pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. One stone, <laughs> some uh, some sleepy guys, which will not work, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, that is the video, guys. Really, really nice campaign. I mean, if, no if for nothing else but the Fizz Vegito Blue, Extreme Z Awakening dropping during this campaign. Um, it, it, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm really excited. So that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you're hyped for Fizz Vegeta Blue's EZA. And also, if you have predictions, let me know what your predictions are for this guy's uh, passive and leader skill and all that good stuff once he uh, gets his EZA. All right, so that's gonna do it, though. That is the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like, the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out